I'm here to talk about array formulas and doing things with the absolute reference. I'm doing two examples here. I'm on the absolute value page, and what it is, if I want to say the premium is 2.5% of each amount, this is how many people traditionally do it. Equal, you could say this, constant F4 on a PC, command T on a Mac times this, complete the formula, and then you could drag it down. The good thing is, is let's say you add another item here. I could add a row in here and just put in PP41, and that was worth, let's say, $48 or $49. I can drag this down. That's a good feature, okay? I want to talk about array formulas. They work similarly, but they have limitations. You may like these, though. What it is here, I want to do the formula here. I can do this all at once. I'm going to do this slowly, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these three cells here because that's the array. I'm in this one cell here, the, the clear one, and I'm going to say equal this times, I highlight this array here. And when I'm done, I don't hit the enter key. Otherwise, it'll just go into cell C4. I hold down the control, the shift, and the enter key. I have an array. And if you look inside the formula bar, um, oops, I'm going to say cancel. When you look in the formula bar here, if I click inside one here, it's showing it in brackets. You can't type it. You've got to do the control shift enter. The disadvantage is that if I had wanted to add another row here and I say insert, you can't because it's an array. And if I add, let's say, can I drag this down? Yes, you can, so it will work. You just can't put things in the middle. You may like using the arrays.